So here we have two of my leopard geckos. Rainbow, uh, bottom, older, little flash, younger little guy there. Um, they make excellent pets for children, adults, whoever like them. Very easy to take care of, uh, good longevity. Um, this right here, this area is some moss and I actually soak it every day in some water. It helps with the humidity in their cage. Um, they actually just went through a shed. Watch her tail. Oh, I love when she wags her tails when she's eating. Look at that. Delicious. They eat mostly live insects. I actually raise my own crickets and dubia. But I also offer a dry mixture of insects too that are for them 24-7. Fresh water. This house is usually over this, but when I feed them, I lift the house up to throw the live insects in there. Makes it easier for them to chase and grab onto about running into a structure. One's behind you, Rainbow. But these guys are really, really cool to have and see. And she's actually hunting, look at her. Here, let's see, I'll pick one up for you guys. Come here, little flash. You don't seem like you want to eat. So the thing about leopard geckos is you don't want to mess much with their tail. Their tail can actually uh, fall off if you stress them out too much. Um, petting their back, petting their head, most anywhere else is okay. Look at that face. And then I'll show you Rainbow. I've had her longer. And she's a little older and a little feistier too, I guess you could say. They're actually called leopard geckos because of the spots on their back, but they come in many different colors and variations. And the thing I'll show you guys is look at that face. That face is adorable. Isn't that so cute? Oh, look at that tongue. My hands have white on them. That's actually calcium. Um, one important thing that almost all reptiles need, whether it's a tortoise, a lizard, um, is calcium dust. And I actually put vitamins on their food too. Um, so when I feed them the crickets, which is in my other hand, I have a little baggy shake, shake, shake like you would your shake and bake chicken. And it's got some yummy crickets in it, doobie roach, whatever you're feeding them. Just do a nice little coat on them and then you toss them in. Now let's toss another one in for her. See, one got away. It's hiding from you. There you go. They're actually mostly nocturnal animals. And they only live on the ground. I also have a, a chameleon over here. Let's see. There he is on his branch. That's a Rainbow Jackson's chameleon. And a he lives the majority of his life off the ground. I have seen him occasionally on the bottom of his terrarium, but usually he's up there. These guys never climb. Like, I mean, the most they'll climb is maybe on this tiny little log right here, but you're not gonna see him climb a tree or climb branches. They're not really a, a lizard that climbs well. And if I show you their feet again. Come here, little guy. See a close up. Hold on. It's hard to do it one handed. Come here, buddy. Flash, come here. Okay. So, see his feet? Those are made for ground dwelling. And then in here, oh, and this mossy area is important. You can actually buy this moss at different reptile places. There's some little doobie in there. They get super big. There's some small ones there. Um, but the moss you actually spray with water and then I put the house over it. And what that does is it gives them um, some humidity in their cage, which is really important um, for their skin, for when they shed. She actually just went through a shed. That's why her her skin looks phenomenal. Oh, and they have the spots on there because that's how they're actually called um, leopard geckos. They get that name, but their stripes, their colors, their spots will completely vary from one lizard to another lizard. 
They have a pretty long longevity in captivity and they're very hardy and they make really good pets. They're not known to bite. They're not known to be aggressive. Um, they usually like to be held. So those are always the pluses.